Hello and welcome to another video on ENZ Travels. If you watched last week's video you would know that today I'm going to be flying at Regional Express on their Saab 340 from Sydney to Canberra. Um, if you haven't seen last week's video I flew on board Link Airways operating for Virgin Australia on board their Saab 340. Link's up there somewhere. I've got about an hour until departure. Um, I'll head down to the Rex gate shortly. At Sydney Airport Rex Regional Flights including flights to Canberra, operate from Gate Golf 2, right next to the Rex Lounge. The Rex Lounge can be accessed for a one-off fee of $22, which is cheaper than what they advertise on their website. You can also be accessed with the Rex Lounge membership, priority pass, or if you're traveling in business class on a Rex Boeing 737 flight. Now, when your flight is called for boarding, you'll be asked to go down this escalator from the waiting lounge at the top, and you follow the yellow line around the corner, and into yet another gate lounge. There is a series of gates there where they'll scan your boarding pass and put you on a bus out to the aircraft. You can wait on the lower floor. However, there's not a lot of space down there. There's not a lot of seating. And I imagine in their busy times, it does get fairly crowded, especially since this, spa this space is shared with Fly Pelican and Link Airways. Taking us to Canberra today is this 30 year old Saab 340B. Victor Hotel Tango Romeo X-Ray, which was originally delivered to Business Express Airlines in the United States in 1992. Since then, it has operated for Colgan Air and Penn Air and was delivered to Rex in April of 2005. It is configured with 34 Navy leather economy seats in a 1-2 configuration over 11 rows, with one additional rearward facing seat at the front of the aircraft. You will notice if you've watched my videos aboard Link Airways Saabs that the interior is significantly aged by comparison. I do find this to be the case with a lot of the Rex Saabs. Today I have elected to sit in seat 3C on the double side. A risk of having a seat mate, but a calculated one. And one that paid off as I ended up having a vacant seat next to me. For those who do like sitting at the front of the aircraft, it is important to also remember that row 2 on the Saab 340 does not have a window. I'll leave you now to enjoy that turboprop startup and take off from Sydney's runway 16 right.
takeoff today was from Sydney's runway 16 right at the Bravo 3 intersection. The Saab doesn't need much space to get off the ground and before long we were well on our way to Canberra. Our flight time to Canberra today was 44 minutes, cruising at 12,000 feet. A little bit longer than what you'd expect in a jet, but still pretty quick. Our track takes us west of Wollongong, the east of Lake George and Goulburn, before landing on Canberra's runway 35 back towards the north. So the legroom in row 3 is alright, uh, for a longer leg I might choose row 1 or 6 for the small fee. There is a tray table which folds down and in this aircraft there was a few issues folding it back up. I used the uh, tray table next to me for my refreshment and had the same issues. The Saab 340 features a window blind which is not standard on all turboprops and in the seat pocket you'll find an onboard safety card, the Rex True Blue magazine and an air sickness bag. The overhead panel features air vents, flight attendant call button and a reading light. As is the case with all Rex flights, on this flight we were offered a choice of a sweet or a savoury snack. This morning I opted for the sweet snack which was this gluten free white chocolate and macadamia cookie. This came with a choice of tea, coffee and water as well as the option to purchase soft drinks for a small fee in cash. Today I opted for a coffee. I tried to squeeze into the Saab toilet and it was very cramped and interestingly doesn't have a hand basin. Rex of course do provide hand sanitizer. So one thing I absolutely have to commend Rex for is the consistency with their cabin crew. On today's flight, the cabin crew member was extremely friendly and was willing to go the extra mile. I noted on boarding he was assisting people to move from the single side of the aircraft to the double side if there was vacant seats to help people spread out a bit more and just be that little bit more comfortable on the flight. Whilst it's only a short flight, small things I'm sure were appreciated by these passengers and it's really great to see flight attendants taking the time to go through things like this. Okay, so I've just arrived back in Canberra on board Rex, about what you'd expect for a Rex service. Uh, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And we'll be back next Monday with another flight review.